good as dead. Hey guys, Zach from HG Life here doing a uh, another video. I guess this is more of a tutorial for you guys because I know I've wanted this for a while and I haven't been able to get it and now I got it. So now it makes me happy that I can get this. Uh, it's for, if you can see here, and by the title, Minecraft Shaders for 1.6.2. Yes, this is not a lie. This is for 1.6.2. And it's very simple. So first you got to download the links in the description. I'll put all four of these for these things in the description. And first you gotta click on the Minecraft Forge dash installer dash 1.6.2 all that stuff. And you double click on it, and it will come up with this uh, Minecraft Forge installer. Uh, you can install the client, server, or just extract it. You want client. Now server is for let's say you, you want to play a game a mod that needs Forge as a server. You can install it and directly into a server, and you can play it. So you go to client, and you click OK. And it will say successfully created a client profile. So if you went to percent app data, uh, for data percent, what am I doing with my life? Percent app data percent, and you go to dot Minecraft, and then you go to versions. It will now come up with this version right here: 1.6.2 dust forge 9.10.0.804. Double click on that, and then you'll just have the basic uh, stuff in there. So then what you want to do is you want to go and find the, the new folder, or, or it should be in here. If it's not in here, then you need to make a folder called mods in the .minecraft directory. And I already have it here, but you need to drag and drop the shaders mod core dash MC 1.6 into the mods folder. I'm copying and replacing because I already have it, but it, that's what you should find and you should put it in there. Now after you do that, launch up Minecraft with the launcher. And then when you go to your profile, you should have to go to whatever profile you use, edit the profile, and see where it says use version here. Use the version release 1.6.2-forge 9.0. I mean 1.10.0.804. Uh, once you do that, save profile and launch your game. Which and then will take a minute. Uh, that's just how it is. It takes a little bit of time for it to work. And it should launch up here as it uh, is doing. Uh, and once it launches up, you should have a thing there mod, and it gives you what mods you have, so Forge and all that stuff. Then you should go to Options, Shaders, and you will have nothing here. So click Open Shader Packs. And then I will put a link to this one. This is the Light Pack, and this is Minecraft Shaders, which now you should have. So let's go to Single Player. Oh, well, that's a glitchy thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, bam, Single Player. Oh god, I'm lagging. I don't know why. But single player. Uh, then you should be able to go to options, shaders, and you can click on Minecraft shaders if you want. Uh, the only problem I found with the shaders right now is it's a little buggy with like the water. As you can see, it looks like there's lines in it. Sometimes the sky glitches out, as you see there. And sometimes you're looking at trees, you can see inside them. But that's m basically it. And so there's this shader pack, which is the uh, Minecraft light, and then there's the. Uh, Minecraft shaders and here's the light pack which is basically the same but it's just whichever one you prefer there's a little bit of difference but not much so yeah like this one doesn't have moving water uh, so it doesn't really glitch out the water or anything uh, the sky still kind of glitches out it's kind of annoying but as long as you're not really like paying attention to it it really shouldn't bug you that much so yeah um you don't need Minecraft. You don't need Optifine to install. Um, for, actually, you can't even install Optifine for some reason. Like whenever you have it, I've tried installing and it doesn't work. So I don't exactly like think there's any point in trying to install it because it will just crash your game over and over again. So yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope I uh, helped you get shaders. And if you need uh, any help, leave a comment in the description or uh, in the comment section, and I will uh, get to you as fast as I can. Maybe somebody else watching the video can get to you too. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Bye.